past couple weeks was tough at my work since Q1 was finishing. We had to finish up some uh, planned out tasks. I don't know, only just for past two weeks I felt like I burned out because I was working like eight to ten hours, including weekends to cover up all tales that we had in work. That's why I took a vacation for two weeks. But to be honest, it was a long time for me to work without vacation. That's why I felt like it's, it was a great time to take it now. So yeah, uh, me and my wife, we left our kid at kindergarten and now we are going to mountains to work a little bit on my project. So yeah, I'll see you there. <laughs> All right, guys, so I want to talk about my burnout. If you guys just entering, like rolling in an IT world, burnout is the thing that you cannot avoid never because sometimes you put too much effort for your project and get, I don't know, less result than you expected. That's why before putting all your 100% effort to your like job or project, think twice. Does it worth it? Do you want to work short time or long time? If you are aiming to work on long period, just save your energy, save your effort for long work because it will pay off later. And usually uh, to fix that, I switch context. Like usually I take some kind of day offs or take a vacation to switch context completely. I just do not touch any anything considering work or considering that thing that I already was doing. So for today, uh, me and my wife came here just to enjoy nature, work on my own project, talk about like our family and other stuff. And then we'll work on my project because things I want to discuss is since I already planned out to make a budgeting application, I want to make a little bit uh, sketch for my budgeting application in my notepad and then uh, we'll work on at least first page. So yeah, let's pick the coffee shop and work over there. Since I am still fasting, I cannot eat right here. So I'll probably order takeaway and eat it uh, at evening. I don't know if it still will be that tasty. So yeah, I'll see you there. <music> budgeting application is to make it as simple as it's possible so now I want to draw a little simple sketches to visualize at least what I want to see in my in my application and see um, maybe another references of another applications what I like what I don't like and combine everything in one application so yeah let's do it Alright guys, so I want my first page and the main page was the transaction input page. So basically I want my application start with 
let's say that it's a top bar here so I want my first page was input page so like expense input income and maybe transfer but we'll see and then the grid of numbers and maybe like a check mark here for applying that input and here is the text view with input right as an reference i want to use cash app that i've been using in usa that was really convenient so and then i want my second page was the insights page where i can have an insights of all my spending and all my earnings probably i want here to be um, some kind of line graph right like this and i want here to be some kind of sections like uh, groceries eating outside and so on it will be scrollable and horizontal and here by clicking any of that categories i want to display all transaction during this month or week so the filter will be here and i want to display all transactions let's say it will be grocery bucket right and so on so let's see references of other applications for me to compare and visualize it if it looks good or not so the application i want to get a reference from cash app that i was using in usa the transaction and transferring over there was very convenient i don't know if it will show me let's get that way like this so basically i want my transaction input page was very simple and as you can see insights also so what's my purpose uh, of doing that application is i want to make very simple application without any inconvenience with handling like uh, inputting your transactions i want to add maybe siri or maybe gpt with uh, voice input and by that and also i want to add widgets where with one click you can just enter your uh, pendings so let's try to implement first page with transaction input at least we will implement the draft for now so let's go Alright guys, in one hour we have to pick up our child from kindergarten and by that time I want to walk around a little bit and I'll probably continue coding at home or in coffee shop around my home. So yeah, let's go. Right, guys so the main uh, segment view so now i have to add gesture recognizer for me to um, handle two case with tapping and with dragging right between them and another thing for me to do is number pad i want to implement custom number pad without keyboard so let's do it <music> Switching between expense, income and transfer is ready. Let me show you. Here it is, a very top segment control. And then I have also implemented 
the numpad to already make an input so the only thing that i need to do now is to place the text field where the like the android number will be displayed and the another i don't know where to place the confirmation button so let me show what i mean so basically i have transaction view right where i have numpad and segment control here i will place the text view right now and I don't know where to place the confirmation button. Maybe I'll place it here or somewhere here, but I don't think that placing the confirmation button or on the middle of screen or on top of the screen will be convenient for users. That's why I think I will place it here. But from the another side, to from the left side and from the right side, there will be empty spaces. <laughs> guys so i finally uh, finished my uh, transaction view <laughs> i don't know that it's a final version i probably might change that a little bit later but for now i also need your help in the comment section please so let me show you what i mean as you can see i place the text view here if you enter the numbers it works really good you can also erase the numbers and confirmation button i placed it under like the main numpad but already told that the, from the right side and the left side there is an empty spaces i thought i will put it for like the timing and for probably the comments like for notes but from the another side i want to place comments and timing here so i have no idea what to do now i'll think about ui ux part later i think i have my core components that uh, i can juggle around and make it a little bit like more useful for users right but for now uh, let me show you my what my persistent manager look like so i have created my table database with four entity so let me show you what what is the scheme of my database look like so basically i have account let me make it bigger so i have account for those people who use multiple cards and want to log like several uh, transactions based on uh, cards they used I have budget that you can set for certain categories for example you have budget for 200 dollars for groceries and if you are exceeding limit or the progress of current budgeting i will show the in the different sections as for you to review if you are like making on point or your exceeding limit so i have categories for income or and for expenses and the transactions itself so basically what is my point at the very top will be accounts accounts is the card that you are using for example i use three cards if i'm not mistaken and whenever i log my transaction i want each of my transaction was locked under uh, some card for me to find out if i am spending somewhere more or less right so i have budgets that you can set for uh, several categories uh, for example let's say you are you have a you you set the budget for groceries for 200 dollars, and at, at the middle of months you're already exceeding your limit and my goal is to let you know that you're exceeding your limit and review all your transaction based on that grocery and another thing is i want to make it very simple to like lock all your transactions for example maybe i will use siri to with some kind of shortcut you, uh, that you can say that hey siri lock my transaction for uh groceries 200 dollars right or i will just make a widget in the main page where i will put the button at the transaction so with one button you can start adding your transaction yeah so that is my plan for this app at least for mvp and yeah let's work on that let's go
All right, guys, so I am almost done implementing the transaction view. As you can see, I already added numpads. I have a uh, transaction amount view. I have nodes that works completely fine, as you can see. Also, and I have doubts about categories view where you uh, where you can select which category you want to link to and the date. So I am completely lost about those two items, where to place them. So let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.